Hi everyone, I'm John Mora. I'm from Toronto, Canada. I'm a professional player on Team Predator and here's what's in my case. So first of all, I'm using the 2x4 Urbane Houndstooth case um, with a, a really big accessory pocket here. And you can carry so much in here. That's what I love about this case. And so I'll just show you what's in my case. All right, so I'm gonna go inside the, the case here and pull out my cues. This is the Icon 4 Series 1 cue. Beautiful cue. It caught my attention when uh, Predator and I were working on a deal. This was the cue that stood out to me, not just because of the looks and, and how much I love black, but the snake wood here, the brown point here, that snake wood, curly maple, or in between the snake wood points, has a beautiful leather wrap. But the most important thing for me here is the ebony forearm and the ebony butt right here, butt handle. The ebony wood is, is natural weight, so that's great to have in the back of your queue, rather than you know any other kind of wood that's a little bit lighter. You have to make up put by putting more weight bolts in the back, so you're making the very end of the queue more heavy by using those weight bolts, but that defeats the ebony forearm and butt, gives you natural weight, so you don't have to put too many weight bolts in the back. This is a radial pin which I love, it helps the, the cue connect very well and, and keeps it low deflection. Um, this is my main playing shaft. This is a 12-4 Revo, regular length, 29 inches. I use a Victory Soft tip, as you can see here. I have the white vault plate and so far in the last three months since I've made the con conversion from Uchi to Predator, I've had great success with this shaft in a really short amount of time. And that's really unheard of when you make a transition from you know, a different queue. It does take you a lot, a lot of time, you know. And, um, but surprisingly with this, I've, I've had great success in a short amount of time. So now I'm gonna move on to my brake queue. I use the BK Rush, the black color, and this brake cue is, is incredible. It's so consistent, the, the balance is perfect. It gives you so much power on the brake, and you know, I think by far this, this is the best brake cue out on the market. It, uh, you know, the brake is the biggest part of the game. Normally, the winners of the tournament are usually the guys braking the best, so. It's very imperative to have a, a good brake cue, and this is number one for me. Um, awesome, awesome brake cue, BK Rush. This is my Predator Air Rush jump shaft, 14 millimeter. Really thick, strong, powerful shaft. The, um, the butt of the jump cue is right here in my case. As you can see there, the Air Rush forearm, and this is the, the butt extension. And yeah, those are all my cues. Here's an extra shaft that I keep in my case. This is the 3143, third generation. Um, I don't use it, but I keep it as a backup. It is a great shaft, but I do prefer the 124 the Revo. But in case anything ever happens to my 124 Revo, I always have this as a backup and, and I'm familiar with how this plays and, and I'm comfortable competing with this if I have to. So that's a great spare shaft to have. I would say it'd have to be my, my cell phone. <laughs> yeah, and the reason I say that is because this is actually complimenting Predator here. I know this cue can be replaced. This would be the second most valuable thing for me, my playing cue, because this is what I do all my competing with, all my winning with. This is what brings home the bacon, you know? So this would be my second on the list, but Predator makes these cues so consistently I know I can replace this, and when I get it replaced, if I ever needed to, it would hit exactly like this one. And, and that's very hard to achieve for a cue company, but, but Predator is, 
is very consistent with their quality. So I trust that this would be replaced and, and I, it would feel the same as, as this cue without any issues.